was a good one? Yes. Okay. So I, I could feel my heart sinking in somewhere. I don't know where it went, but my heart was beating so fast. Mm -hmm. Was it the first time that you done your heart chakra? Yes, it's my first time. Okay, okay. So in first time, at least you could connect with the sensation of the activations, right? That's mm -hmm. a great thing. Mostly, uh, many people, especially when it comes to heart center, because heart center is one of the very uh, pivotal, uh, you know, this. Uh, uh, among the chakras also heart center and the throat center and then the crown because these are those points where there are these nadis you know the pathways of kundalini so these are these junctions where the pathways interact or crisscross each other okay so it's a very pivotal only after the activation of your heart chakra the gateway to the spiritualism actually opens up for you a next level or a progress you can say you know actually you enter spiritualism only after the activation of heart center so it's a very very critical thing and i'm glad that you you know felt it on the first time itself mm. what were the other experiences obviously you know when my i can feel the my like in my hands in my body you know that shake mm -hmm. it's not like a shake but it's inside okay it's like my it's like my blood cells are pumping okay exciting yes, I felt, yeah uh, i felt that and just the heartbeat itself and there was so much energy mm -hmm. i think when you pull uh, calling out the light there was so much light so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. and i could feel my heart being so heavy and then it became heavy and then all of a sudden it's like i had no heart at all i could it's like it went light mm -hmm. okay it went really light like you know when you you, you, you can't even feel your own heart that's mm -hmm. how it felt okay and uh, did you experience did you feel the love while connecting to the you know love energy yes oh my god there's so much love out there yeah. It's so unbelievable. Yes, it's, it's so much. I was just like, you know what, just take my, you know, fill in my heart and then just, I was like mesmerized, like take it all, you know, hmm. fill it, it, it. It's like I gave up, like it's this, this is just too way too much for me. Mm -hmm. just, the, it, you know, uh, it is what it is. It's the just world, like yeah. give up. The world itself felt as if sort of a, you're in a heaven, you know, everything so much positive, everything so much loving, all of a sudden. Yeah, I kept seeing myself on top of a massive hill, at the top of the hill, okay. like a very a huge mountain, okay. and I was at the top of it. Okay, that's good. So... Uh, overall, I can see that you have grasped once again very well from the London Star Meditation Heart ch Chakra Activation and wishing you all the best in your healing journey. Enjoy your weekend. You're about to go on a vacation with the family. So with this Heart Chakra Meditation and going along the seaside, right? You are on a seaside vacation. So when you sit when you place yourself near the water bodies especially it gives a natural healing uh, you know touch healing sensation to everyone you know whether you are meditating or not so after doing this heart chakra meditation and going on a vacation along the seaside along the beach i suppose will be a you know multitude of uh, awakening awakening and the healing experience together for you right mm -hmm. so back to back uh, you know i suppose it's a, you know series of events other events also whatever is happening in your life is on a very positive note and i'm completely proud of how you have been taking benefit from these healing sessions right so all the no. best to you 
Thank you so much. You know, every time I meditate with you, I've, I never knew meditations, mm -hmm. and you've you've uh, introduced me to meditations, and I've made so much progress, so much progress. It's unbelievable. And uh, I, I listen to your videos. It's only because sometimes you speak a lot of uh, Hindu. You know, this, the Friday ones that you, you podcast always, uh, series. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I listen to them all the time after, you know, after you've done them. And you always try to encourage people to really get serious with spirituality. Mm. And and you tr try to tell them the benefits of it. Yeah. And they don't, and I can feel your passion when you, when you're telling people, listen, there's more to this than, oh, Twin Flames, you know, you're telling them that there's so much to spirituality. Please come in. I'll help you yeah. um, venture into your your spirituality. I want you to take up your talents, you know. And I love that, that you know, I, I is so passionate what you do. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it quite shows that if people are so serious about it they, you can actually you, you actually bring up the outcome to it yeah yes They're, don't give up i think yeah. there's somehow some if if one or two if 10 people are listening one of them is going to listen to you and slowly you? and <laughs> slowly and slowly dear it's happening that uh, you know i'm being very selective with my audience i'm willing selective with the people for whom i'm providing healing sessions and slowly we can see that the people who are taking together divine seriously uh, people who are being serious on the spiritual note are, uh, on this journey are not only being able to balance their life or their mental health or their emotional well-being but they are also you know growing eventually to a sort of a you know love energy peaceful sleep and uh, many people are started attracting abundance many people uh -huh. those who were rarely found happiness are now happy in their life balanced in their life so i am the same person for everyone around right at the same videos the same therapies this everything but few people actually catch it and make the most out of it and many people only look up to the channelings of twin flames and the missing energy of their loving partner and all and they never come back out of this loop means they are not utilizing the time properly for their healing journey they are only concerned or addicted of the person for whom they are missing and that is a big loss to them you know when you can attract entirely the universe when you can attract entirely uh, God divine himself then why you are only concentrating on attracting a single person so people are not pushing their full potential for a higher goals you know they are very much limited to the body consciousness and uh, limited uh, you know they're limiting itself to twin flame or their soulmates or any person whom they feel you know attracted to and today getting this feedback from you that you are yourself recognizing the values and the importance of those podcast series where we eventually push and try people to you know come to up their uh, soul purpose live up to their you know higher purpose and make their life fruitful and productive you know but although most of the podcast series are done in hindi they don't get the uh, catch the essence of it and still there they look for those you know love channelings only to happen every time around and you all across the seas, across a different continent, out there from the United Kingdom and London, you are still, you know, getting the message, you know. That's what I suppose the soul family or the soul group is, where the distance doesn't matter, the caste or the religion doesn't matter. You do get the intended message. You do understand the value of the, you know, divine channelings. You do, you know, take these messages seriously and you make the most from your guide mentor healer whoever the universe has at least provided to you i could have been sitting you know myself isolated out there uh, alone and you know at some peaceful place and not interacting with any people completely it's fine for me you know because uh, every time i try to awaken any person spiritually it is a hell lot of a pushing experience for me also that please wake up wake up right 
rather than trying to wake up hundred souls i can eventually relax and you know focus only on my own individual journey because i too need to invest in myself so that i can you know be you know complete my own journey but still i am trying to bring in together other people also who can along with me you know rise to the next level of their soul ascension process but very uh, few people are you know taking up that way most people are uh, on their lower vibrations only fixed locked in the lower consciousness only the body consciousness and that's the most you know uh, not you know what you call the uh, happy part of this you know interacting with so much so called spiritual souls out of which very handful of people you know we get to see to you know uh, actually trying to come out of this matrix most of the people are happy being locked up in the matrix right but the thing is you don't it's a good thing like you do you, you try not to sugar coat anybody yeah. you try to tell them listen be serious you're not sugar coating it i think i think you are approaching it right yes people don't listen but it's okay if they they're not listening mm-hmm. they will come back after 2 3 months and say you know what maybe that pen was right <laughs> let me go back yeah it is it has happened here yeah. it has happened many people come back yeah. after 6 months many people come back after 1 year it has happened mm-hmm. each and every person you know who leaves the channel and goes back and they explore out other channels or other people and how they are you know losing their time and money and how other people you see to lift your consciousness level up i also have to be at the higher consciousness you know i cannot be at a lower vibration and expect to rise your consciousness level that's not going to happen you know so i am always working at least from the last 7 8 years i have seen myself maintaining this high vibration so that i can have more and more interactions with the people i can do more and more podcast sessions with the people i do around 4 to 5 hours of podcast back to back without even getting up from my chair most of the time without even drinking a water you know most of the time the participants are advising me sir please have a glass of water your throat throat seems very you know uh, dry so that is kind of my you know dedication level and i wish to see many people getting benefited from this but uh, ironically on the you know the strange part is that very few people are actually getting the benefit but nevertheless if that means that is how it it means to be then that's i'm okay with that also but at least you know some people are at least getting benefit out of it of me you know being available to them it's a, that is also you know sort of i think a fruitful experience to me as well for you know establish things establishing this channel and having you know getting to interact with you guys right yeah well this is yeah i think i think you're very very gifted with meditations your meditations are very good every yeah. time i have a meditation with you my life changes next week is a different experience altogether mm. you know um so uh, you know don't beat yourself up over it because if people don't listen they don't listen you can't do mm. very much you can't feed into this um uh tin flame i want him i want here i want this you can't feed into it but you you just waste time doing that yeah. you just uh, like you carry on teaching people what spirituality is and how to live with it yeah. and how to, that's all that's I think I think it's the best thing ever. Yeah. You know, and it's healing. You know, it, it, your healing it doesn't matter whether you're chin flame or not. It's just it's like an everybody needs healing. A yeah. lot of people need healing. Yeah, exactly. So, as a twin flame and as a light worker, I suppose everybody got to, you know, take up their soul purpose and live up to a larger, you know, purpose in their life rather than normally mm-hmm. eating slim sleeping drinking or producing babies which you know every animals or insects does eventually but being given this human form of body i suppose mm. people need to utilize it although you can enjoy sex you can enjoy eating out you can enjoy all the you know physical aspects of life but what about the soul aspect people are not <laughs> investing people are not investing in their you know soul they are only investing in their body you know now of lately the importance of mental health people is recognizing because hell lot of these many years people were working only on their body going to the gym or makeup 
or buying expensive clothes but they were you know neglecting their mental health and even yeah. above the mental health comes your soul health you know what are the things that you're actually doing for your soul you know so you have to have this uh, you know tangent of all these three things at one point body mind and soul if your body is healthy your mind is peaceful and your soul is rising right to a next level to a higher level to a better class then that is the complete you know what you call balance of being born in the human form right mm. so yeah, yeah that's the thing even you know the thing with uh, christians uh, you know like people that are religious and some christians they don't even know how to heal mm -hmm. they don't they don't they that's why they say god doesn't answer their prayers because they've not healed us exactly Exactly. I've been saying this example quote so many times uh, to people in my podcast also that how is it possible that, you know, if I pray, God listens and if you pray, God doesn't listen. You know, how does it possible? Everybody is equal. It's only because you are not willing to heal your karma. You are not willing to heal the blockages and where the blessings comes from the universe, your own karmas, your own layers of, you know, things does not allow the thing to reach out to you and you blame the universe, you blame the God. First, you should work on your soul ascension. First, you should heal your blockages. First, you should clari clarify the path. You know, if I, if I am sending uh you know suppose one million dollar check to your home you should have that place to put that abundance you know you should have that place else where are you going to put all the positive energy that the universe is going to give you should create the space for it also right people don't realize this fact and as for the meditation you told i have told many a times to people also that see in youtube even after you search for thousands of videos you are not going to get these kind of healing sessions that we are providing because my kind of meditation is not something which I've learned from YouTube. My kind of meditation is something which the God himself has downloaded onto me. So it's very much natural. It is very much first of a kind. It is not a copy paste, yes, it, right? It's not a copy paste. You, you, yeah. you, won't, you won't find anybody, anyone else doing, doing exactly in the same manner in which we are teaching you. It's very powerful. It can be a life-changing, life-transforming experience. So please make the best use of it. There can come a time, point of time, where I might get sick of, you know, interacting with many people and I might say that, oh, yeah, I'll just go to the mountains, shut off the internet, everything, and just you know, meditate in isolation. And that is more enjoying and peaceful experience than having to, you know, run this YouTube channel and take different kind of healing sessions for everyone, right? And that point of time, you'll be searching for me. I won't be around also. Right. This time I am available. So make the most out of it. You, know? you never know tomorrow I might die or I might lose interest in, you know, uh, guiding anyone else. What would you do at that point of time? Because you won't get these kind of sessions anywhere in YouTube. Right? It's very much natural. Many things I've learned from my own holy masters also, my guru. And apart from them, many of the things gets divinely downloaded to me from the Lord, the divine himself. So I'm very thankful so every time we meditate, not only I thank the angels and spirit guides and the holy masters, but I made make each and every participant also, each and every, uh, you know, the audience also to thank each and everyone because without their blessings, it is not within the capacity of, a, you know, simple man to, you know, change the life of a woman who is staying in London, you know, thousands of kilometers, miles away from me, right? Yes, definitely. You, you know, you are quite gifted with that, I must admit. One of the things I've taken the meditation is uh, I, I've, I've, I've grown now to experience energies. Mm -hmm. I know when it's today, if I, I know when I can feel it in my body or I can feel it. It's like like it's natural thing when you experience energies and you know today the energies are high or the energies are going to be low and you know whether it's going to be a shit show today or, mm -hmm. or a good show you mm -hmm. know it's it, i've learned to do that lately to experience that and the other day the energies were so high mm -hmm. that i was actually trembling Mm -hmm. You know, like shivering and trembling. Mm -hmm. I was at work and I thought, maybe is it because I, I didn't eat? I ended <laughs> up having to go make myself porridge. That's mm -hmm. how I, I was still shaking. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Because I thought maybe this, if I eat something, it will, it, I will stop. Yeah. And the energies will just go quickly. Um, so it's one of them things I'm starting to learn how to channel. Yeah. I suppose you also going to be a very good uh, healer, uh, you know, eventually uh, in the course of due course of time. Because slowly and slowly, every time I've seen you, you know, progressing yourself little by little. And as and when your body also starts to accept and or get attuned with this positive energy you know through gain through this healing sessions through meditations then slowly and slowly you know you will be you'll normalize yourself rather than you know shaking shivering kind of experience when you gain this energy you will be in a much you know happy and a blissful and a carefree kind of energy later on so it's a good thing it is, not... it's getting you know the funny thing as well yesterday i was yeah yesterday I was at work. We have a new lady that's come in who works with me in account. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought, you know, today I was feeling very energetic. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to uh, just uh, give me myself two minutes and to, to psychic her. So I psychic her. I psychic her. She's new. So I didn't say anything to her. I kept quiet. But I could see there was something wrong with her, something with, with her uterus, you know, uh, womb. Mm-hmm. So I kept quiet, right? So... We started talking, and she was telling me, oh, you know, I've had problems with my womb. Oh, I had uh, one of my uh, eggs removed uh, mm. because uh, they, it was swelling up, and they thought it's the best thing for me to get it removed. It's taken me years. And I didn't ask her. I was, I was, I was shocked, like, oh, my God, why is she telling me this? No, I'm uh, <laughs> noticing this, Monica, from your own storytelling and experiences that you have shared since you joined with us a few months back, that, you know, many people, you know, even the strangers, you know, are coming up to you and opening up to you, you know, uh, like uh, they just, you know, they can't hide their pain or their, you know, secrets and they're just trying to, you know, share it with you and uh, make themselves, you know, uh, feel lighter, you know, I've seen this, people opening up to you very easily, right? Yes, they do. And I, I'm getting tired, even the, the, even at the supermarket all the time. You know, if, if you come, the UK is massive. It's, there's lots of people around. I'm tired of smiling all day long. You know? Okay. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's like every time people look at me, they smile. And I have to smile back and I'm thinking, oh, no, please, not today. Not, you know, uh, it, I don't know. I wasn't used to smiling all the time. Now I have to smile all the time. Hmm. That's a good thing, right? Uh, okay. Just I just look back around few months back. How you you know how we met you, <laughs> you know, and at what energy we met you, and just look at you after just after you know few sessions and you it's it feels for me also you know even as a healer for me also it seems that you know i'm interacting with a completely new person a new monica has born you know the person who seemed very helpless who was very low and crying and yes. depressed and sad and whatsoever uh-huh. all of a sudden now you know you are so much positive i myself feel very much positive every time i get to interact with you you know so yeah god God will bless you. Don't worry. God will give you more than you ever wanted. I always put you in my prayers. Oh, thanks a lot for that sweet gesture, Monica. And then, you know, every time I say, I mean, I ask myself, how did I, how did this, how did I meet this man? You know, <laughs> like saying, oh, you know what? Yeah. It's, it, I could have met somebody in the UK. I yeah. could have met somebody closer to me. But no, I had to meet you somewhere very far away. Yeah. So, you know, it, these things are connected. Yeah, things were uh, meant to be that way. That's why it happened. Uh, mm. Because uh, in the spiritual realm, we don't say that anything is like coincidence. Nothing is coincidence. Coincidence word does not exist in our dictionary. Everything is already aligned. Everything is already decided. And as and when you, you know, increase your vibrations, as and when you you know, live up to those kind of things will change your course of, you know, the track of your destiny and accordingly you will start meet, you know, meeting so-and-so people at so-and-so time, at so-and-so places. You eventually get to interact, you eventually attract such situations, events in your life back to back, right? 
so it was not a act of coincidence it was act of your own you know mechanism your own energy your own manifestation your own work whatever you have do done subconsciously or knowingly whatsoever but it is the you know result of your own actions which are you know ended up in this way or a possibility can also be that in past lifetime also you know there was this healing sessions going on for you or you might be wanted to take few you know such sort of healing sessions from me but that could not happen altogether or you wanted to take healing session from any healers whatsoever but that never happened and this lifetime you are so much at this you know uh, breathtaking you know level that you desperately wanted some healing to happen in your life something to happen so that you know you can do something about it and as a result of which you manifested you know this healing therapies that is going on to your life and the result is all we both know right yes do you know i was like i was telling you about this friend at work i forgot to tell you anyway this friend of work we can see that your energies has completely transformed in these many healing sessions and you are on a very upscale on a very positive very vibrant mode so your weekend is nearby your family is with you you have your vacations trip for a weekend right so just yeah. enjoy enjoy your weekend enjoy your vacation enjoy your healing process you are completely you know bang on the track and very soon you know the way you wanted to heal other people also that bigger purpose is also going to feel you know which i you know have this strong you know sort of a thing that you will be helpful resourceful for other people also you know the way i could help you you will also be able to help other guys as well right so cheers to life cheers to the universe cheers to the healing sessions you know cheers to london star meditation which all started from oh. you yeah yeah <laughs> Tell you good news. Okay, yeah. one last one, and then I'm gonna yeah. say goodbye. I ask for part-time work at work, and then I ask them. They they reduce my hours a little bit. Okay. And uh, they didn't even reduce my salary. <laughs> oh, that's great. So you're working for that's lesser great. hours and getting the same salary, right? Okay. Yeah. And um, so they asked me why. Uh, I said I will finish work on Fridays. I finish early because I want to do something. You know. So I was thinking maybe my Fridays I could use it to do something, you know, just do mm. learn more stuff. You mm -hmm. see, so that was that ended up very well. Great, great. Mm. So everything good, right? So just yes, en everything's good. Thank enjoy you. your whole, enjoy your uh, weekends, enjoy your holidays, right? And just God bless you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Take care.